Welcome back to the Special Goods APA. Joining us now is Dr. John Ingram, a plastic surgeon with Penn State Health. Doctor, good to have you with us. You were Charlotte's plastic surgeon, so tell us what it's like to see her doing so well now. Good morning. Um, it was a joy. Um, I was able to see the same video Dr. Petfield mentioned and uh, just seeing her walking with her prosthesis and smiling. I think it's her way of telling us that she's starting to feel whole again. And often when we're doing these complex reconstructions, we may not know for weeks or months how well things go. So it, it's really uh, completion for me and, and job satisfaction. You work very closely with the orthopedic and trauma teams to really treat these types of traumatic injuries. Talk about that partnership. Well, it's um, very gratifying. Uh, not only are they colleagues, but they're also friends in many cases. And I think as, as we experience in many walks of life, doing something as a team rather than as an individual um, just has more uh, power behind it. And we, we collaborate, we talk, we plan. Um, and unto that, I think it's very important for the families to see that team approach um, so that they know that a lot of people, a lot of different specialists are rooting for their child. What is recovery like for children when they have such a devastating injury? We heard a lot about it already in terms of how long it takes. Uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, pain and suffering. It's a huge adjustment for not only the child, but the parents. And um, I feel like the kids don't really uh, around the corner until they get home into that familiar environment, their own toys um, and the same faces. Uh, but I think it's also important to emphasize how very hard it is on the parents. You know, again, this was a pure accident and they are going through agony seeing their child suffer. Um, so I feel like they're my patients too, in a way. And I, I do try to tell them very early in the process that their child is gonna help them through this. You know, it's really true and it's amazing. I wanna switch gears now because again, you're a plastic surgeon. What other types of injuries do you see from kids? Well, we're very fortunate here at uh, Penn State Hershey Medical Center to have a level one trauma center, the only one in the region. And that allows us to combine efforts for basically all types of trauma. Specifically to reconstructive surgery, we do deal with uh, amputated limbs and often we're able to put these back on under a microscope. Unfortunately, we see a lot of dog bites, um, facial fractures and other fractures from motor vehicle accidents and a lot of farm related injuries. As parents, deep cuts or wounds, they are so scary. When is it time to go to a hospital for your child's injury versus maybe trying to treat it yourself? Sure. Well, I think first and foremost, anytime you're uncomfortable with a situation, please come see us. Um, whether uh, it's a concern about a future scar or the depth of a wound, any wound that has its edges separated should be seen any concern for infection and certainly anything on the face that could result in adverse scars. Let's talk about that, the scarring. Many parents must ask, how do you minimize that scarring after maybe stitches? Do you have any recommendations? We wanna get the stitches out within five to seven days to avoid scars from those. Um, most importantly, time is, is the best thing. It can take up to a year or more for a scar to soften and flatten and improve as much as it's going to on its own. Um, in the short term though, things like scar massage, uh, pressure application on the scar with things like a celastic adhesive sheet, and then protection from sunlight, which can redden the scar permanently, can all help. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Dr. Ingram. Thank you. You're very welcome. For more information about Penn State Health or if you would like to schedule an appointment, call 866-399-3810.